are uh, walks are something you got to stay away from if you're going to be successful, especially here. I mean, if you start putting guys on and getting behind in the count here, yeah. you're looking at running into. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of great hitters in this league, and the ball travels here real well. So if you're behind in the count and you're leaving up a cookie and you walk two guys, you can get hurt real quick here. So that's that's one of the main focuses for me, anyways, is trying to attack and throw strikes and get ahead of guys, so it makes you know makes pitching a lot easier. What's been the uh, Toughest stadium to play in. What's hurt you the most? Uh, I haven't. You know what? I, knock on wood. I have not given up a home run in the Cal League yet, so I haven't got. I didn't do it today, man. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> I don't want to give them up. Right? I mean, so, I, I, I'm just as superstitious as you are. <laughs> I mean, the two toughest parks to pitch out, without question, are Lancaster High Desert. Yeah, well, yeah. Flies at both of those places. You're higher up. Yeah. And I've seen I've seen some balls go out of High Desert that I just I mean I was shocked. I saw. I saw one of our guys give up a home run there to pay to give up a home run there that I couldn't believe. I mean, right-handed kid hit it off the handle to right field and the ball went out by, you know, 15 or 20 feet, which is... That's a launch in band. That should never happen in baseball, but, but, but that's, you know, that's the nature of the league. That's the way it goes. But the scouts are compensating for that. It's not sure. it's not the it's not the worst uh, thing relative for your stats if you were to do that, right? No, I, I, think that, I think that everybody expects inflated numbers when you come here for pitchers, you know. I think they expect the same for hitters, too. I think, you know, if you see guys like last year in High Desert, I mean, they had two or three guys that had 30 plus home runs that doesn't happen anywhere else in minor league baseball and you know i think that uh i think that they definitely have to take that into consideration guys that play a high desert hitting 30 home runs how many home runs would they hit if they played at a park like this where the ball doesn't travel uh -huh. you know I, I mean, does it travel better better during the day here here you know i i mean i i, I know that the, the green layer comes in and that's why the whole pacific coast you know it it deadens the ball but is it better during the day this far inland i you know what I'm i don't think i don't think i've noticed the difference i mean the farthest ball I've seen hit here all year was hit at night, at like probably like 9:30 at night. So, I I would have to say that the day or night, it probably doesn't matter here. It's definitely windier during the day at High Desert. I mean, yeah. incredible. You can you're, you're lucky to stand up during BP without getting blown over. It's, <laughs> it's that bad. And Lancaster can be just like it too. There's, I mean, the flags almost get ripped off the pole at those places sometimes. Is it